everybody and their grandma procrastinates. Like literally procrastination is something that's a part of everybody's life. And it's normal for you to procrastinate. So if you are procrastinating, it's not unnormal. It's not something that, you know, you're weird or you're, or you're the only one. I procrastinate sometimes too. You know, procrastination is a part of everybody's life. Like, don't you ever ask yourself, is there a cure for procrastination? Is there a way that you could get rid of procrastination forever? And I think I've figured out how to get rid of procrastination because to be honest, even though I do procrastinate, I don't procrastinate as much as I used to. The reason why I haven't procrastinated in a long time or the reason why I procrastinate a lot less is because of the things that I'm about to mention here. So when it comes to procrastination, you gotta realize procrastination is do, is basically putting aside something that you know you have to do and just doing something else that you know you're not supposed to do. Let's say I gotta edit this video. And let's say I'm procrastinating on editing this video and I just put it aside and then I grab my phone and I go on social media. That's me procrastinating. I am procrastinating on editing this video and I'm doing something else like going on my phone. It's, 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 it's caused more from distractions that you get around yourself. So the first question that you gotta ask yourself first is, do you even like what you're doing? Like, do you enjoy the process of what you're doing? I know a lot of people procrastinate on doing homework because to be honest, nobody likes homework. I hated homework, I'm not gonna lie. Homework was the worst thing. You couldn't make me do homework. There were some times where I would do homework, but you know, I, I would have my little tricks here and there. Y'all know what I mean. I have my little tricks up on my sleeve. Homework was something that I would always procrastinate on because I hated doing homework. And I noticed that the things that you mostly procrastinate on are the things that you don't like doing the most. I'm gonna give you guys an example. I don't procrastinate when it comes to working out because I like to work out. Like I don't look at it as a chore. I don't look at it as, damn, I gotta work out today. Like I really don't look at it that way because I actually like to work out. Like I love the process of working out, of lifting weights. That sole reason because I like to work out is the reason as well why I don't procrastinate when it comes to my workouts. But you probably are someone who, you know, you wanna get a nice body, but you just procrastinate on working out because you just don't wanna do the work yet. And, and to be honest, that used to happen, that used to happen to me in the beginning. But mostly that happened because I wouldn't really see results in the beginning. And so that kind of made me, I guess you could say, get unmotivated. But after I started to see results, I started to actually love working out a lot more and a lot more. And it got to the point where I am now where I work out and I don't feel procrastination about it. I don't, you know, sec I don't have second thoughts about working out. I just get to my workout and I just do it. And I think that also has to do because I have, it has become a habit. And when something becomes a habit, you don't second guess it. You just do it because it's just something that you do a part of your day. You gotta ask yourself first, do you like to do what you are procrastinating on? Because maybe you don't like to do it. And if you don't like to do it, then just stop doing it and go look and do something that you do like to do. You know, something that you enjoy doing. Now, obviously you can't do that for everything because if you got homework to do and you're in college and you're procrastinating on doing your essay, then it's normal for you to procrastinate because you just don't like to do essays. In that case, you gotta go on to the next thing, which I'm about to say which is basically ask yourself this question, which I ask myself every single time to get me on track and to get me out of procrastinating. What I ask myself is, what's the next thing that I can do that's gonna get me closer to my goal? If my goal is to reach a number of subscribers or something like that, or my goal is to grow and help people, what's the next thing that I can do right now that's gonna get me closer to that goal that I have? And the next thing that I could do is I'm gonna finish this video. And then after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna ask myself the next question. What's the next thing that I can do that's gonna get me closer to my goal? And the next thing that I can do is edit the video. And then after that, I'm gonna repeat the same question until I am done with the whole entire process of getting this video done and uploading it so that I can get closer to my ultimate goal that I have. So you gotta ask yourself the same question. Like if you if you are someone who wants to get a nice body, like I say, you wanna, you wanna get a six pack or you wanna grow some muscle, ask yourself, what's the next thing that I can do right now that's gonna get me closer to that goal that I have? So if you have that goal, then the next thing that you can do right now is get your workout clothes. What's the next thing that you can do after that? Put on your shoes. What's the next thing that you can do after that? Warm up. And, and when it comes to warming up, you could do the same thing. What's the next thing that I can do? You know, do some push-ups, you know, stretch. Ask yourself this same question all the time. Literally, when I ask myself this same question, it helps me a lot clear out, you know, because sometimes when you are procrastinating, it's also because you are overthinking the future task that you're not yet, you know, handling yet. Focus on the task at hand, not the task that hasn't been handed to you yet. And when you procrastinate, I started to notice that the, the, when you procrastinate, you are usually thinking too ahead of the things that you have to do. Like if you are procrastinating, like right now, if I procrastinate on editing my video, I'm going to be thinking about, oh my God, I got to edit the thumbnail. I got to edit this thing. Well, I shouldn't be worrying about editing the thumbnail if I haven't even edited the video yet. I shouldn't be worrying about editing the video if I haven't even made the video, video yet. It's those things like when you stop worrying about or stop thinking about, I have to edit this, I have to edit this. Why would you worry about that when you haven't even pressed the record button yet? You haven't even made a video. That's the same way with procrastinating on starting a channel, right? Let's say you want to start a channel 
and you're procrastinating on starting a channel. You're over, sometimes you, you start to think, because this is what happened to me in the beginning. I would think, damn, how am I going to edit this video? How am I going to edit the thumbnails? I don't even know how to edit those things. I don't know how to edit a video. I, how am I going to upload it? I used to think of all these things and that caused me to procrastinate. And I wouldn't even, back then, I wouldn't even start. I, I, still, had, I, I still didn't even start an account. I, hadn't, I didn't even have a camera. Like I didn't even, I, 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 wouldn't, I haven't even pressed the record button. I haven't even made a video. I haven't even came up with an idea for the video. And I'm already thinking about the editing part of the video process. How am I thinking about that process when I haven't even gone through the edit? I haven't even pressed record yet. Stop thinking so far ahead of the things that you have to do and just focus on what you got right now. Do what's in front of you. Literally do what's in front of you. Stop thinking about what you got to do later. Like right now I'm doing this video. I'm not thinking about the editing that I'm going to do, the thumbnails. That obviously there's some, I got to prepare for the thumbnails, but I'm not thinking about that process yet because I'm not there yet. Right now I'm, I'm here. Right now I'm doing what's in front of me. After I'm done with this, I'm going to do what's in front of me again. What's the next thing that I'm going to do? So you got to ask yourself this question. What's the next thing that you're going to do that's going to get you closer to your goals? Because if you don't ask yourself these questions and you're all over the place, you're going to procrastinate way more because you're not organized. You got to do what's in front of you and not focus too far ahead. I'm reading this book right now that's called The Atomic Habits. And I've basically, I'm rereading the book. I already read it before, but I'm rereading it again just to refresh my mind and just to reread it. Because right now I'm rereading a lot of books that I've read. And I, since I've read a, a couple of books, like I, I'm pretty, I've read a lot of books, so... I'm rereading a lot of those books that I've read. And so the book that I'm reading right now, again, is Atomic Habits. And there's this one section where, you know, the, the author, he mentions a, a, a basic, basically a method on how to avoid procrastination or how to help you, you know, basically get rid of procrastination. And he basically calls it the two minute rule. Well, let's say you're procrastinating on reading and you want to read. Do the two minute rule. Basically, grab the book and read for two minutes and then do that again read for two minutes most likely when you read those first two minutes you're going to continue to read you're going to continue to to read for like 30 minutes or an hour and it's the same way with like for example let's say i'm um let's say right now right let's say i'm procrastinating on making this video right let's say i'm procrastinating on making this video and let's say i apply the two minute rule what i would do is i would just press record and i'll start talking for two minutes most likely i won't stop talking after two minutes i'll continue to go because i'm already in the flow really like what this all is trying to say is that if you want to stop procrastinating all you got to do is just start doing something like start doing something that basically stops you from procrastinating like if you are procrastinating on doing your homework just write your name first write your name on the paper answer the first question just just literally answer the first question and then go from there. You're going to start to notice that you're going to stop procrastinating after you start. Because really, when you procrastinate, you're procrastinating on starting, not from doing the whole thing. You're just procrastinating on starting. If you just start, most likely you will finish the entire thing. And I know it may be difficult as well because you probably have distractions as well around you. That's another thing that you could do to help you not procrastinate. It's something that I do myself as well to avoid procrastinating. Stop having distractions around you. Like if you know that when you procrastinate, you are on your phone don't go on your phone put your phone away like this is something i do myself i have like this little like um like this little like drawer in my you know my setup right there that i have on my table and this drawer basically i open it and so what i would do is i would basically put my phone in the drawer and i would close the drawer so i can't i don't have my phone around me so if i let's say i procrastinate or I, i'm about to procrastinate or maybe i'm you know got, i'm looking for distractions because that happens your brain sometimes want to look for some distractions some type of dopamine and you usually get this from social media. So whenever I will find myself looking for something to grab to distract myself with, I can't have anything to grab because I don't have it near me. I have it way, it's, it's too far. I'm not gonna get up and go get it. Like that's way too much work. I might as well just stay here and continue doing what I'm doing. Put your phone somewhere where you can't get it. Like when you are working on something, let's say you're doing your homework or you're about to work out and you, and, and, you know, your phone is stopping you from doing that because you're procrastinating, put your phone away, turn it off or like put it somewhere where you can't see it. And then do the thing that you're about to do. Because if you have distractions around you, if you have the remote TV right here and you, the TV is right there near you and you're procrastinating, if you don't have your phone, you have the TV. So if you know that the TV is another way that you're going to procrastinate, put the TV remote somewhere where you can't see it, somewhere where you can't reach. It's going to be a lot of work to go get it. Whenever I procrastinate, I know, I'm never procrastinating doing nothing. Whenever I find myself procrastinating, I usually find myself doing that with something else. And usually that for me, that's, that's my phone. Like my phone is the thing that I procrastinate with. It's like, if I'm procrastinating on doing something, I'll grab my phone and I'll go on social media and I'll distract myself with something. Or I'll go on YouTube or, you know, I'll just do whatever with my phone. But the phone usually is the thing that we use to procrastinate. Whatever it is that you'd use to procrastinate, get rid of it, like get rid of that distraction, put it somewhere away where you can't see it so that you don't procrastinate. Because like I said, 
you never procrastinate just doing nothing. Like I said, these are a, a couple of things that I've tried, you know, to do that I've noticed myself procrastinate way less. Like I'm telling y'all, I barely procrastinate. Like I'm not saying that to brag or anything like that. I'm telling y'all, when I'm focused and I don't have no distractions around me and I do the things that I just mentioned, I don't procrastinate as much as I used to. I remember I, before I used to procrastinate a lot and that was usually because I would be addicted to social media. So like social media was like the my escape. It was like my distraction. It was like somewhere where I could go and I could distract myself so I won't do the things that I know I'm supposed to do. And once I started to get rid of that, I guess you could say addiction to social media and I started to basically put my distraction away, like my phone, I started to notice myself procrastinating way less on top of the things that I just mentioned as well. And another thing as well, just focus on what you got to do right now. I noticed that when I would procrastinate, it was because I would focus too much on the, on the future task that I had. And I wouldn't focus on the task that I have right now. Focus on the task at hand and not the task that you haven't been handed yet. So if you know you got to do, you know, a certain task later down later in the day don't focus on that do what you do the task that you got right now right now right i'm doing this video i'm focused on this video i'm focused on saying what i gotta say and then once i'm done with this video i'm gonna focus on the next thing that i gotta do whatever that may be whether that's you know eating or whether that's working out or whether that's editing the video whatever the case may be the next thing that i'm gonna do i'm gonna focus on that so when i'm editing the video i'm gonna focus on editing the video i'm not focused on the thumbnail i'm not focused on anything else I'm not focused on anything else that I got to do that's going to get me closer to that goal that I have. All I'm focused on is what I got to do now. So focus on what you have to do right now. That's how you really get rid of procrastination. Because when you procrastinate, it's usually because you also overthink the things that you got to do still yet. And when you overthink that, you get overwhelmed because you start to think about all these things that you still have to do when you haven't even finished the thing that you have right now in front of you. So you really just take it one task at a time. Like, do one task at a time, do one thing at a time. And once you start to get one thing done, you go on to the next one, you go on to the next one. And you're going to start to notice that you procrastinate way less. You're going to start to build more momentum. You're going to become way more productive this way. Like just focus on what you got to do right now on what's in front of you. Don't focus on, you know, you got to do this homework at this time. You're going to finish this paper at this time. When you haven't even finished what you got in front of you right now, just do what's in front of you. And this will help you procrastinate way less. But anyways, that's all I got to say. I'm out.